Hello, everyone. Now, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I have had, I've had the best two weeks. Now, I know I missed last week, and I know you'll have missed it, um, but I was doing, I'll explain what I was doing. Um, but basically, great things have been happening at Whitmore. The first thing is that we needed a new assistant head. Now, you know I appointed deputy head um, before, which was Maria Prosser. Brilliant appointment for deputy head, really happy with that. Um, and due to a few other changes, we had a role as assistant head coming up. Now, these are the coveted roles in education. Um, and we've got to keep on pushing because we are, as I've said before, doing really well as a school, but I always want to be better. Um, so for this role, we went external and we had 40 people apply. Now, in education, 40 applicants is ridiculous. It was a lot of people. So we had 40 people apply. And then I cut that down to 12. And I met all these 12. And then I cut it down to six. And yesterday, the six had to go through one hell of an interview process. I mean, it was hard. And that's how interview processes should be, because we want the best in this school. Um, and the culmination was the person who got the job is someone who's actually already in our school. Um, and the, the people who went for the job, who were internal, ended up being the top three. And I really believe that is because like, our staff are doing so well and the things we're learning, they're so impressive compared to the rest. And it, even without realising it, how good they are. So anyway, the person who got the job um, was Maria Palmitzi, who is our head of English. And I can't tell you how excited I mean, what a brilliant appointment. She is going to be amazing, <laughs> absolutely amazing. And she came across brilliantly. So um, I was just delighted. What a, what a great day for Mr. Romson. Anyway, so there's that. The second thing that's happened is you may have seen in the news lots of stuff about budgets, like school budgets, and how, how struggling they are. And they are. I mean, to say the budgets are tough, this year is is an understatement. The budgets are incredibly tight. And it's mean then that a lot of schools have to make big cuts. Now, I just want to talk about it because I think it's worth talking about because when you're hearing the news that schools are going to be making cuts, you're thinking, well, what's going to be taken out of Whitmore? Um, now, the good thing is, is because we have been, we were incredibly prudent with money during, um, during COVID, we are in a really good position. We also have the right number of sets for the number of kids in our school, which means that we have we are financially much better off than a lot of other schools in Wales at the minute, which means that I'm not having to make any cuts for next year, not having to do anything um, outrageous at all, actually. You know, the things we're doing now, we can actually do more of. Um, so I, did, I, I wanted to let you know that, because I, I know that you'll probably be hearing about things in the news thinking, oh, wow, what's going to be lost in schools? We don't have to lose anything. So it's been good news there. Um, and then on that note, I've just been speaking to Mr. Manley about clubs and we're, we're talking about what we can do next year to make it even bigger. So we're going back out to the, the um, pupils and saying, what do you want? What do you need? And we will start um, pushing that. OK, so there's the three things this week. Um, I hope you have a lovely weekend. And I'm trying to think what I'm doing this weekend. Oh, interesting one. I have had to get my teeth done. Now, the worst thing is um, I was telling my wife how much my teeth are going to cost um, due to a lifetime of eating sweets. Um, and I think she was expecting me to come back from Turkey, you know, with, like they're all white teeth. But sadly, this is just to repair broken ones at the back. So if if I if you see me looking sad around Barry in the next few weeks, it's because I've just had my teeth done. So I went to teeth appointment two of five, um, and you're not even going to tell the difference, which is why I'm telling you about it. Great. Right, have a lovely weekend. Cheers. Bye bye.